Hello everyone, this is Matteo from Starway Design. Welcome to the first video of the AMD FPGA video series. When I was at my parents' house a couple of months ago, I dug out my very first FPGA board. A digital end board with a Spartan 3 FPGA. It was the first time you could get a decent sized FPGA board with a price affordable for a student back in 2004. The Spartan 3 FPGA is not supported by Vivado, but only by IC. The last time I used IC was in 2021 for programming clients board with a Spartan 6. Back then I tried with the IC virtual machine provided by AMD, but couldn't program the FPGA with a platform cable. At the end I used my old Windows 7 notebook that was the machine used to develop the FPGA for the project in 2014. I have decided to go back and test how it's possible to use IC for generating bitstream and downloading into the FPGA on current version of Windows and Linux without the virtual machine provided by AMD. I am also going to show how to install IC in a Docker container. Full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Digiland nor AMD and the JDA cable has been bought by Starwood Design. Command line, links, etc. are available in the blog post on the Starwood Design website. Let's begin! We're going to use the Digiland Spartan 3 starter kit and the HS2 JTA cable also from Digiland. The original JTA cable used the parallel port, so we've got the HS2 JTA cable which has a USB interface. It is a low cost solution, about $64, that supports IO voltages out to 5V and is compatible with both IC and Vivado. The port centers around the Spartan 3 200 FPGA. To store the bitstream, back then you had to use a specific flash device from Xynix, called Platform Flash. With the Spartan 3A and 3E, Xynix introduced the possibility of using Starter SPI Flash, even if limited to a few vendors. On top of the user LEDs, displays and switches, it has 1 MB of static RAM to be used with a microcontroller softcore like MicroBlaze. Even if it is more expensive, static RAM has the advantage compared to dynamic RAM that it doesn't need a memory controller in the FPGA. Other IOs include the serial port, VGA and PS2 used for keyboard and mouse before USB. For JTAG there are two connectors, the standard 14 pins 2 rows 2mm pitch connector and a 6 pin 1 row 2.54mm pitch connector. We are going to build one of the examples provided by Digiland. Download the complete installation file. I'm going to download the archive that has both Linux and Windows versions since we're going to install IZ on Linux and also we're going to create a Docker container with IZ in it. Extract the archive and run X setup. Select the Webpack version, check the Install the Driver option and uncheck the Get in the License option. We're going to need a license file even for the Webpack version. We can get it from the AMD licensing website. If the installer gets stuck, terminate the WebTalk program. What we do next depends on the Windows version. If you're using Windows 10, it is quite easy. Once the installation has completed, we need to rename and copy a couple of the LLs. I found these notes in the EV blog forum. I'm showing this on Windows 11 just to show how to do it. Navigate to the IC NT64 directory. Locate libportability.dll and rename it to libportability.dll.reg as a backup. Find libportability nosh 
.dll in the same folder, make a copy and rename the copy to libportability.dll. Repeat the same for the common directory. If you're using Windows 11, instead of copying the DLL, you need to replace it with a modified version you can download from here. Also, you need to set this environment variable and set it to false. Reboot your PC for the changes to take effect. Now, let's start Project Navigator and point to the license file downloaded from the AMD licensing website. We can rebuild the reference design from Digiland. Open Impact, double click on Boundary Scan and init the scan chain. Add the bitstream and promote the FPGA. And that's it for Windows. It is very easy to get IC working on Windows 10 native without using a virtual machine. And the Digiland JT cable works perfectly. For Windows 11, it requires a few extra steps, but it's still quite easy. I'm going to install ICE on Ubuntu 22 LTS. I'm reusing the software archive and the license file from the Windows installation. Install the following library. Extract the archive and run xsetup as root. Select the webpack installation, put on Linux, don't install the drivers. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the drivers to build on Linux. The current kernel and the one used back when IZ 14.7 was released are two different. We're going to use the Digiland tools instead. Before doing that, let's configure the licensing and build the reference design. As I said earlier, I wasn't able to get the drivers for the JTAG cable working even if the Digiland drivers were installed correctly. I assume that if you're using FPGA that's only supported by Z, the project is in maintenance phase and not in active development. In that case, using Digiland tools seems a reasonable compromise. 
Unfortunately, this means it's not possible to use Gypscope. Download the Adapt Runtime and Utilities and install them. Check that we can see the JTA cable. And scan the JTAG chain. Now program on the FPGA. I have created a Docker file to run the ICE tools as part of a continuous integration pipeline as shown in the FPGA Meets DevOps video series. The Docker file is a mix of Docker file I have created for Vivado and the one I found on the web here. Check out the repository. Copy the license file and make sure it's named xanix.lic. Like in the third FPGA Meets DevOps video, run a web server where you have downloaded the complete IZ archive. Then create a Docker container using this command line and replace the IP address with the one from your machine. We can check that we can run the IC command line tools. That's all for this video. This is the first video in the AMD FPG series, and we've seen how to run IC on Windows, Linux, and a Docker container. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, click on the like button, and subscribe to the channel.